Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, you're, at that point, you're kind of expecting, you know, change to happen with that situation. So, um, you know, hopefully everybody's happy. Um, it's obviously kind of a odd experience. Um, but um, I think that if you look at it from our standpoint, I think we're happy we got, uh, you know, a big demon that plays the right side. So um, we'll look forward to, to having him here in Toronto and try to make him comfortable uh, early. And um, we'll just keep going. I don't know a whole lot. We haven't played him, um, you know, all that much, especially in the past two years. Um, but I mean, he plays hard. I was talking to, to Bunce about him. He plays hard. Uh, you know, good defensively, big guy. Um, you know, plays physical. So, um, you know, that's what we're looking for in our our, our back end. Last time you guys were here was not a great memory. Like, mm-hmm. Yep. Is, that, is, it, is, uh, is it contrast that when you walk towards the building? Yeah, a little bit for sure. Um, I mean, you look back on, on experiences uh, you've had, and, you know, being here in the playoffs last year is, you know, one that stands out, uh, um, you know, not for the right reasons. So, you know, you definitely get those feelings again. We came back here in preseason, so I've been here once, so it's a little bit easier the second time. And there's going to be a lot more fans here, so that should yeah. at least bring back some of the yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, I think I mean I think it's their their first game with fans with fifty percent. With fifty percent, um, yes. Yeah, so you know that's a good sign that you know things are moving in the right direction here. So um, you know we're not going to worry too much about that. We're looking forward to having people in the building, but uh, yeah, it's you know it's it, it's always a bit of a different feel. What do you think, uh, what do you think from the last I think there's lots. I think, I mean, how we're playing defense has to get better, especially off the rush. And, you know, we've been talking about that lately. So hopefully here tonight we're able to execute a little bit better and, you know, hone in on that area of the game. Uh, going back to the Montreal thing, uh, you're obviously conscious they won the last couple that are mm-hmm. getting some confidence. Yeah, yeah, I think so. They had a coaching change. Um, you know, like I said, they got fans in the building tonight, so we're expecting them to come hard. They got guys that have really found their game and are playing well. Um, so I'd expect them to come hard tonight. Um, you know, it's 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 always a good battle when we play each other. Um, so I mean, this isn't the time of the year to be be overlooking teams. Guys are playing hard. Guys are playing for their jobs. You know, coaches are are, are trying to get stuff right. So you know, I wouldn't expect anything to be easy here tonight. And, and on the trade, uh, is it good that you're dealing from a position of strength versus this being a trade that you know I can pull you guys out of the doldrums kind of thing? You're a- yeah, I mean, you know that. <laughs> I think that's always a good thing. Um, I've been on both sides of it. Um, but, uh, you know, again, I don't know a whole lot about how the trade went down, obviously. Uh, I mean, Nick being in, 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 in a position that he was and, you know, trading for a guy that I haven't played a whole lot against. Um, I mean, you just hope, you know, players are going to be happy and they're, you know, in positions to, to play well and thrive. And, you know, we're going to do our best to make that the case for, for our guys that we got. And, you know, hopefully Nick goes to Arizona and, and, and plays well. Sorry. You, you mentioned, uh, you know, uh, when describing Delia, you mentioned that big, big guy on your right side. Uh, is it the type of defenseman maybe that a, you know, a team going on the run mm-hmm. would sort of present that style to them when you prepare for a run? Yeah, I think when you're preparing for a run, you just want to, you know, Im- Im- improve on the areas that our team needs to work on. And, you know, I think that is uh, is the case with us. He's you know, a big guy that defends well and blocks shots and and plays hard. And I think that, you know, he'll fit right in. Uh, you know, I think every team is looking for something different. Um, so as we keep going here, we'll try to, you know, plug some holes. And as players, we want to do the best we can to, to take that upon ourselves and just start playing a bit better. Thanks, guys. Thank Sorry. Uh, I think for me, I think it's just a, a case of always wanting to get better. I think that there's lots of areas that I can improve on, and I think that applies to the team as well. I think there's the, that there's been periods of time where we played real well, um, you know, played good defense, and you know, had chances to create lots of offense. And but I think you know that area of our game has kind of slipped lately in terms of playing defense, and I think that's an area that we can really work on and improve. And you know, come time for playoffs, um, you know, the idea would be that we're rolling and confident and playing well defensively. And uh, so I think to get to that point, we got some work to do.